The ECOWAS Regional Election Observer Mission to the Gambia on Monday afternoon visited President Adam Baro at the State House in Banjul. The visit seeks to congratulate President Baro on his victory and to also brief him about their observations in the just concluded April 9th parliamentary election. The group was headed by Dr. Mohammed Ibn Chambers, former United Nations Special Representative of the Secretary General for West Africa and the Sahel. Details of that in this excerpt. On election day itself, indeed, our observers were there. We ourselves were able to visit a number of polling stations. Uh, generally, they opened on time. Uh, materials were there. The requisite number of staff, security, and importantly, we also saw that party agents were there. We did not visit any police station where we didn't find party agents, even if it's true that, uh, for instance, many of the independents were not able to have agents, or one or two other parties did not have the same capacity. But the two major parties, namely the MPP and UDP, uh, clearly had agents in all polling stations that we visited. Um, at the end of the polls, again, we witnessed the counting, which was done very transparently in, in the open for all to see. And uh, what impressed us was almost uh, the camaraderie you can call it the camaraderie that was there between the agents. There was no pushing and shelving, no acrimony. They were all acting very, very professionally and in the way they were relating to the staff of the IEC. Uh, and this is why when we look at all these different steps and the processes that took place and the openness of it and the fact that up to now, no candidate whether political party candidate or independent, has brought to our attention anything to complain about. Uh, of course, um, as we have always advised, uh, if for any reason any party is aggrieved, uh, there was a code of conduct signed, and 85% of candidates signed it. So we'll urge anyone who has any grievances to use constitutional and legal means. Go to court, present your case, and allow the judicial process to resolve the matter. Uh, I think in all of this, it is the Gambia which again has won. The Gambia which emerges, giving a good example to the rest of our sub-region. And let's face it, we've had problems in a number of countries in our sub-region where we are seeing democratic reversal, something we don't want. ECOWAS is fighting against that. We want to move forward and consolidate democracy. We, want, we don't want to see any backward retreat of democracy. So what we see here is a good example. Gambia should be proud of themselves. Uh, and. Uh, I think at the end of the day, you have uh, given testimony of your reputation as a peaceful people in a peaceful country who have delivered peaceful and credible elections. Going forward, I think there is still some work to do uh, because uh, the last five years has been transition. There are some unfinished business. We've discussed it with Mr. President and he has demonstrated openness and willingness to continue to work with ECOWAS and other partners to advance.